Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. TSMC, as a giant in the global semiconductor industry, has long been regarded as a leader in chip technology. In 2023, they announced that they had successfully developed 2 nanometers chip technology, which is undoubtedly a breakthrough in the technology field. However, the turning point came in December 2022, when TSMC announced that 3 nanometers chips would begin mass production and plan to develop more advanced 1.4 nanometers chips in the future. This news shocked the entire industry for a while. While TSMC was busy advancing chip technology, Huawei suddenly released the Mate 60 mobile phone last year. The Kirin 9000's chip it carried used the 7 nanometers process. Although it sounds like the technical specifications are lower, Huawei's move actually exposed an open secret in the industry. Although the more advanced the chip process, the better the performance in theory. For ordinary consumers, more advanced technology is not it will definitely bring significant improvement in user experience. Specifically, although TSMC's 4 nanometers and 3 nanometers chips represent the top of technology, the performance of the 7 nanometers chips used by Huawei in actual use is surprising to find that there is not much difference. There is even data showing that in terms of heat generation and energy efficiency, 7 nanometers chips are even better. This begs the question, has TSMC been overselling the advancement of its technology? Faced with market doubts and Huawei's technical challenges, TSMC founder Zhong Zhongmo responded. He announced that TSMC plans to build a third wafer fab in the United States to focus on higher level 2 nanometers chip technology. At the same time, the U.S. Department of Commerce announced on April 8, 2023, that it would provide TSMC with up to $6.6 .6 billion in subsidies to support its development plans in the United States. This shows that despite the challenges, TSMC is not slowing down its pace of technological advancement. Historically, TSMC's expansion in the United States has been a complicated topic. Zhong Zhongmo himself has repeatedly expressed his hesitation about developing in the United States. The main reason is that he is worried about the high costs and shortage of technical personnel in the American market. In addition, he is also worried that once TSMC's advanced technology is transferred to the United States, it may be absorbed and imitated by local companies, ultimately affecting TSMC's own market position. At the same time, China's semiconductor industry is also developing rapidly. Domestic brands such as Huawei and Unisoc are accelerating the pace of chip research and development, especially in the mid to low end market. For example, Unisoc's T820 chip has surpassed Kirin 980 in some performance indicators, showing the progress of China's chip manufacturing industry. From TSMC's strategic adjustments to Huawei's technological breakthroughs, 
From U.S. policy support to the rise of China's chip industry, every move has a profound impact on the future development direction of technology. For consumers, behind this technological innovation, there are more complex considerations about cost, performance and market competition. Many netizens began to express different views on the actual impact and necessity of chip technology. A technology blogger commented, Although 3 nanometers and 2 nanometers technologies sound very advanced, for most mobile phone users, 7 nanometers is enough. Huawei's move actually questions the industry's excessive pursuit. Another popular point is about TSMC's strategic adjustment. Some netizens wrote, TSMC's expansion plan in the United States shows their prediction and determination for the future market. Although there are risks, this is a necessary strategic deployment. This reflects a supportive attitude towards TSMC's future development. Regarding the rapid progress of Huawei and China's semiconductor industry, many domestic netizens have shown obvious national pride. One netizen commented, I feel very proud to see the rise of domestic chips. This is not only a victory of technology, but also proof of the improvement of China's overall industrial capabilities. Regarding the decision-making of TSMC founder Zhong Zhongmo, opinions are divided. Some believe this is a smart move, that will help TSMC maintain its leading position in the global market. However, there are also concerns. Transferring technology to the United States may be detrimental to TSMC in the long run and may teach its competitors. In general, this discussion about chip technology is not limited to the technical level but also touches on multiple levels such as globalization, market competition, and national security. The heated discussions among netizens demonstrated the complexity and multidimensional impact of this incident from various angles, and each comment reflected the public's concern and thinking about the far-reaching impact of this incident.